Welcome to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. Once again, we welcome in SEC Network Analyst and former Georgia Offensive Lineman Matt Stinchcomb to the show. Matt, thanks again for joining us. Thanks for having me, Rachel. I appreciate it. Well, today let's talk about the college football playoff. Uh, once again, we show the selection committee's initial first four. We start with Mississippi State number one and Florida State second, then Auburn and Ole Miss, each with one loss. So, Matt, any, any real surprises there? Anything jump out at you? Well, you know, Ole Miss having just lost to LSU, knowing that LSU being a two-loss team, that was a little bit surprising. Obviously, I think the committee giving a lot of weight to that Kansas State road victory that Auburn was able to secure. Uh, that one, I think, will ultimately change. Kansas State's got the bulk of their season yet to play versus their toughest opponents. They've not seen TCU, West Virginia, or Baylor yet. They've, they've beaten Oklahoma. So that win uh, by the Tigers may be diminished, and of course it may change, it certainly will change um, this Saturday when they go to Oxford. Uh, you know, whether they get the victory or not, number three or number four, somebody's coming out with a loss. Very real chance that Oregon's able to ascend into that number four position um, if in fact they're able to secure victory over the Stanford Cardinals Saturday. Right, exactly. Auburn and Ole Miss, that matchup, the loser's going to have two losses, so that will that team will undoubtedly drop. Now, which other team or teams, you mentioned Oregon, uh, could sneak in uh, after, after this week. Uh, do you think any others have, the, have a good chance to ultimately slide in there when it's said and done? Yeah, yeah. You know, I think that Baylor in the Big 12 has a real opportunity. A lot of people are high on TCU, um, but Baylor's got some signature opportunities to get big victories, and they get them at home. They get the Sooners at home, uh, which will certainly help. And then the final game of the season and what will effectively be their de facto Big 12 championship game, they don't have one officially, uh, they host Kansas State. So if Kansas State is able to endure the rigors of their schedule that's remaining, uh, then they'll get some pop out of that. There'll be some eyeballs on that game, uh, and perhaps the Bears will be able to make up some ground. Right now, there's a lot of opportunity amongst a number of one-loss teams, and incidentally, 14 of the 16 remaining one-loss teams will play each other. And so. Uh, we're not going to see these records uh, maintain themselves through the balance of the season. Somebody, uh, and at least half of them, are going to drop another game. All right, great information for the fans out there and, and the media, for that matter, looking to see how this, this all shakes out. A hallmark in college football with the first hint of playoff rankings coming out this week. Well, Matt, thanks so much for your time this week. Really appreciate it. Thanks for having me on, Rachel. And thank you for watching Talkin' Tigers. Happy Halloween, everybody.